Once the canals are thoroughly cleansed with files and irrigants, they are then dried. Sized white paper cones, called paper points, can completely descend through the pulp chamber and on into the canals. These remove all excess chemical irrigants and prepare the inside for operation or filling with the rubber gutta percha. The paper points are locked into the cotton pliers and set to the canal's working length with a ruler to ensure that they do not extend out beyond the root tip opening. By now, the doctor has selected a master gutta percha cone or a special file coated with gutta percha for each of the canals. If it's to be tried in before its final placement, an x-ray is made to verify its fit. The root canal sealer is a special slow setting cement that binds the gutta percha cones together inside the tooth's canals. It's painted on a spiral and given to the doctor. As he carefully spins it into the tooth's canals, prepare to hand him the locked cotton pliers holding the master cone or the special file coated with the gutta percha. Once the master gutta percha cone is in place, a system of alternately making holes and placing accessory cones is done. The endo spreader looks like a long, straight explorer. When the end is forced into the canal, rotated slightly and removed, it leaves a void that the cone perfectly fits in. Notice how the assistant coats each cone with the sealer, hands the locked cotton pliers to the doctor, and then gives him another cone. This process is called lateral condensation as it effectively spreads the gutta percha through the voids of the tooth in a lateral or sideways manner. After the tooth is completely filled within with gutta percha, a hot instrument called a plugger is used to soften and remove any excess. Alert the patient that she may see some smoke from the melting rubber as it's removed from the top of the tooth. Use the high volume evacuation to capture it though if you can. Pass a plugger to the doctor carefully to avoid burning her or the patient and make sure you don't get burned yourself when wiping it clean. Use several thicknesses of gauze. The doctor then mops the inside chamber clean of excess sealer. A large spoon excavator, made just for endo treatment, cuts and removes excessive gutta percha cones poking up from the canals. The goal is to empty the pulp chamber in preparation for the temporary filling. The temporary filling makes it easy for the doctor to open and access the tooth at subsequent visits. It also serves longer term until the patient has a tooth permanently restored. Be sure to emphasize its temporary nature to the patient. The temporary consists of two parts, a small wad of cotton and the putty filling. The cotton helps keep the tooth colored putty out of the tiny canals, which makes it easier to find them later if needed. Temporary materials include the One Step Cavit brand, two stage IRM brand that you mix together, and a number of other types of putties. Over time, you'll find one that works best for you. After the root canal procedure is completed, the dental dam assembly is gently removed in the reverse order of its placement. First, the rubber interproximals are carefully snipped with scissors. Then, the dam is gently lifted from the patient's mouth and face. And finally, the retainer is removed from the tooth using the retainer forceps. And then, using a large round burr and a slow speed handpiece, or maybe a hand carver, the doctor adjusts the patient's bite on the temporary. The colored articulating or bite paper helps identify any high spots. 
If the endodontic therapy sequence was completed at this visit, the closing step is the final or post-op x-ray. This provides a record of the finished tooth, internally showing the closeness of the gutta percha fill to the root tip. Later, follow-up x-rays will help show the degree of healing when compared to this post-op film. Much like pilots use radar to fly in the clouds and in the dark, dental x-rays guide the dentist through the parts of the root canal therapy that can't be experienced through touch alone. And this is a great analogy to use when asserting their need to the patients. The pretreatment x-ray may come from the patient's full mouth films, or it may be one exposed just because of this tooth's symptoms. The x-ray forms just one part of the diagnostic process, identifying pulpal disease and its extent. The x-ray also shows the internal shape of the tooth. Extremely long roots, multiple canals, sharp curves. These situations may require referring the patient to a specialist for care or special instrument setups like extra long files. During treatment, several x-ray films are made to monitor its progress. It's critical that the doctor get the gutta percha and the sealer extended as close to the tip of the roots without going beyond them. Remember, x-rays to the dentist are like radar is to pilots. Some doctors elect to make their own in-treatment x-rays, and others rely on you to do them. In endodontics, the key is to capture the root tip on the film, and if a tooth has several roots, to make sure that they're not overlapped. If our camera is the x-ray looking at this tooth, notice how the rearmost roots appear in view as we move around it. This is the concept used to capture all of the root tips individually. The RIN XCP instrument is unbeatable for capturing teeth on film. When properly used, the tooth is centered in the film and its film size is close to its life size. Unfortunately, it can't be used with a rubber dam in place, so its main use is for before and after films. The snap array and the hemostat's compactness allow placing them behind the rubber dam. It's a blind act, though, as it's hard to properly see how to center the film behind the tooth and catch the root tip. This is a situation where practice makes perfect. When placing the film in the mouth for the x-rays, remember these basics. First, center the film behind the tooth so that the root tip will appear on the film. Next, try to keep the film as close to the teeth as possible. And finally, move the beam to the front or the back 10 or 15 degrees to separate the x-ray images of overlapping roots. Many doctors use chair-side developers for endofilms. These provide a readable image in as little as 60 seconds without your having to leave the treatment area for the darkroom. And if a retake is needed, little time is wasted. The chair-side developer is not just used for x-rays and endotherapy, it's also great for developing intraoral films of the emergency dental patients. You probably notice that the x-ray techniques used in root canal therapy violate some basic rules of taking dental x-rays. You may have experienced the frustration and the difficulty of getting a good image in endotherapy. These are advanced techniques of dental radiography, and unless you completely understand the shadow casting principles of x-ray, endofilms are best left for the doctor to make. 
Remember to review the film on radiography in this series. Whether your doctor specializes in providing root canal therapy or it simply enjoys the challenge of diagnosing and providing endodontic therapy as a general practitioner, patient follow-up is extremely important. Remind the patient that the ultimate success of root canal therapy can only be determined in time. Whether it's six months or two years, follow-up endo exams and x-rays, usually in conjunction with routine hygiene visits, provide the peace of mind that the procedure is still working. Many patients leave dental offices after having had root canal therapy saying or thinking that wasn't so bad at all. Some of them share this joy with others. Most don't. You're working in an age of dentistry when root canal therapy is no longer an unforgettable and traumatic experience. By attending to your duties and treating each patient compassionately as if they were someone in your own family, you will provide incomparable care. Remember, ultimately, we are all related. Fear is a common element of being a human being. You have a powerful, unique opportunity to help calm those fears. That can favorably impact healing as much as any good treatment itself.